Hi, I'm Paul Seal here uh, from codeshare.co.uk. Uh, just decided to make another video for you about Bootstrap Studio just because it's so good. It's not just because it's so good really, it's just because I missed something on the last video. So I think what I missed on the last video was showing you how you can edit the code. So you might think it's just a drag and drop and you're limited by it. Um, I've got a friend who thought that but then I've worked out how you can actually edit the code yourself. It's not really anything special, it's just part of it anyway. So it's not something that I've done, it's part one of the features. I didn't get that across in the last video, I want to get it across in this video. I don't know why I want to get it across in this video, there's nothing in it for me whatsoever. Maybe you'll just watch this video, I suppose there's something in it for me, you're going to watch my videos. Anyway, I still love Bootstrap Studio, I used it at the weekend, we did a hackathon. So I did a bit of Bootstrap Studio, I did a nice little login screen, dead easy. Anyway, I'm just going to move on because I feel like I'm waffling and I don't want to waffle. So getting started, I'm, I don't want to do the getting started, I want to do new design. And we're just going to, I'll tell you what, we'll get this product page, create. So, my friend was complaining, how do I edit this? This is it's not editable, it's rubbish. What do I do? Easy. Just go to whatever part you want to edit. So let's say if I want to edit this part up here, and I'm not talking about editing the markup because you can do that by double clicking. You know, that, that bit's easy. I'm talking about, when I say markup, I meant content. Um, I am talking about editing the markup. So if we see this, now, it looks like, well, where do I get to edit it? I can see it in here, frustrated, I can't type into it. No need to worry, all you have to do is, where it, at the part where you want to edit, let's say this row product, you can right click on it and convert to HTML. That way it can't model it for you anymore. So you can't do the old drag and drop for this because you've changed it from being what it can predict and move about to be your own custom HTML. So with that, it disappears from in here in terms of all the elements inside being nested and it goes to custom code. And then you right click on that and do edit code. Now you've got full control of the markup over here. So if I wanted to, where it had um, just these four options, I could add another one in here of just L. It looks like they missed large anyway. Don't know what they've got against L. And then save, apply that, and then save, and now we can, yeah, that'll do. Preview, run in the browser. So now in the drop down, you can see I've edited that. So that's it really. There's not really any much, nothing else I wanted to show you in this video. So it's just literally showing you that you can edit the markup in Bootstrap Studio. You're not limited to what it gives you. So yeah, hope you like that. Um, if you do like the video, please like the video, comment on the video if you want to, subscribe to the channel and keep watching more videos. And if you've got any ideas for videos for me to do, send them over. I'll be happy to think about doing them. I'm not guaranteeing I'll do them, but I do enjoy doing the odd video here and there. Anyway, I'm going to go now. Thanks for watching.